Hello, sports fans and football fans and XFL football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I am here to recap the week seven action in the XFL and to give you my picks for week eight of the XFL. So, um, as you will know, if you've been keeping up with my channel and with my show on the XFL picks, you know that I came into last week with an overall record for the season of 19 and 5. 19 correct picks, only 5 wrong through uh, 6, what was it, 6 weeks, 6 weeks. So, uh, but in week 7... Mm, yeah, not so great. Uh, the first game was the Sea Dragons. And that was on uh, March 31st, Friday. Last Friday, March 31st, was the Sea Dragons at the Renegades. And uh, the Sea Dragons ended up winning that game 24-15. to I had called that game correctly. I figured that the Sea Dragons were a better team than the Renegades, even with the Renegades playing at home in Texas. And I was right as it turns out. Uh, the next game was Saturday, or the next two games actually were held on uh, Saturday, April 1st. And the first of those was the Brahmas at the Vipers. And at this point, I was 2-0 and on the week because I picked that one correctly too. The Vipers ended up winning 26-12. Neither team doing really well on the year. The Brahmas are 2-5, and five and the Vipers are now 2-5. and five. But the Vipers were victorious by the score of 26-12, to 12, more than doubling up the score that the Brahmas had. And then my defenders went down in defeat to the Guardians, the worst team in the league. You can't handle the truth! Who just got their first win against my undefeated defenders. And they won by the score 37-36. So it was a close one. It's a barn burner. But they ended up winning, and I got that one wrong. And then the game on the on Sunday, April 2nd, was the Battle Hawks at the Rene at the Roughnecks. And I took the Roughnecks in this one because they were home. Both teams very good so far on the year. As you can see, they are both now um well, the Battle Hawks are five and two, and the uh, Roughnecks are four and three. But they're both pretty good teams relative to the XFL season and the XFL uh, competition that they're going up against. But I did get that game wrong. I did call the Roughnecks for that one, so I was only two and two this past week, which, of course, if you can do the math, makes me uh, twenty-one and seven on the year, which is not bad. It's you know getting three out of every four right. But that'll bring us to uh, week eight. And uh, in week eight, as you can see, we've got uh, two games on Sunday, or what is it? Two games, two games on Saturday and two games on Sunday. The Saturday games, April 8th, will be the Vipers at the Battle Hawks. Now, if you just listen to my description of these, all of these teams relative to the league, you know I'm going to take the Battle Hawks. The Battle Hawks not only are at home, but they are 5-2, and two, and the Vipers are 2-5. and five. So we're going to take the Battle Hawks at home in this one. The next one at 4 p.m. on uh, Saturday will be the Renegades at the Guardians. Now, despite the fact that the Guardians beat the undefeated Defenders... I'm still going to go with the Renegades on the road. I am not going to take the Guardians. I'm not convinced that the Guardians have figured something out here, at least not yet. So we're going to take the Renegades at home, or the Renegades on the road against the Guardians. And then you have the Sunday, April 9th games. The first one will be the Roughnecks at the Brahmas. And uh, in this one, I am going to easily also take the Roughnecks on the road to beat the Brahmas. 
Uh, the Brahmas, of course, as I said, they're not doing really well. They're two and five. The Roughnecks are four and three. But the Roughnecks, I think, are even really a little better than that four and three record might indicate. So I'm going to take the Roughnecks in that one. And then you got my defenders on the road against the Sea Dragons. Now, this is a week one matchup. And for all I know, the other ones are week one matchups, too. I don't know. But uh, in the week one matchup, the defenders won a close one against the Sea Dragons. This one is in Seattle. The Sea Dragons are hot. The defenders are reeling after losing to the Guardians. And they're on the road in Seattle. I am going to go... For the very first time this season, I'm going to go against my favorite team and I'm going to take the Sea Dragons at home to beat the Defenders. So, uh, there are my picks. Just to recap, we're going to take the Battle Hawks over the Vipers. We're going to take the Renegades over the Guardians on the road in Orlando. And uh, we are going to take the Roughnecks over the Brahmas and the Sea Dragons to beat my Defenders because... I'm picking them like I see them, and uh, I don't think after having played the Sea Dragons once and barely beat them, and then the Sea Dragons have that tape, I think, uh, you know, it's tough to beat a team twice in the same season in any, whether it's the NFL, XFL, USFL, your FL, I don't know, but I'm going to take the uh, Sea Dragons in that one, so that's my recap. What do you guys think of my picks? Leave a comment below and let me know what your picks are. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you like this kind of content, you'd like to see similar stuff in the NFL season for the NFL picks, then hey, this is the place to be and you want to subscribe to my channel. But for right now, that is going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm signing off.